My name is Julie Yu. Um, I am currently employed as head of operations for a online delivery service where the core of our service is focused on produce um, and I've been involved in PPP for this is my second year. What does it mean to be a leader in my community? Uh, I guess just giving back. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm equipped with skill sets that maybe other people don't have per se and I like knowing that I can make them into use and then give back to someone else who might need those skill sets. Um, so for example, I'm pretty social and I like to, um, uh, I guess like be interactive with people. So just giving someone a chance to talk about their lives and kind of, um, express where they are at life. I think that gives them a venue to kind of be expressive and I feel like I'm being useful in that manner. <laughs> I know that sounds really minor, but I mean, just something small like that, where I feel like I'm giving value into someone else's life, like that inspires me to be a leader in the community. Um, and what does P mean to me? Mean to me? Um, it's a family for me. Um, after graduating, I definitely had a period in time where I was very lost. Um, I thought I knew what I wanted to do with my degree, but I honestly didn't. And I had moved back home and I, um, my parents were asking me like, what do you want to do with your life? And I couldn't answer them straightforward. And that kind of gave me a sense of hopelessness. Um, but coming across to PVP and actually volunteering the day of for the major fundraiser plate by plate and seeing all these really um, intelligent, inspired professionals um, giving back their time for a really good cause kind of inspired me back and it made me feel kind of good about myself and it kind of gave me a direction and um, plate by, you know, project by project definitely gave me a sense of family and community outside of my workplace, outside of home, outside of um, the friends that I already had. It made me feel like I could do something more with my life. So it's very important to me. <laughs> my favorite PVP memory, um, I guess just going back to the day of where um, we all come dressed in these t-shirts and everyone's very like kind of a little bit tired but excited to just set up the event and get it going. Um, my favorite experience out of just the day of, of again, plate by plate was the fact that I, I was pretty tired, <laughs> not gonna lie, and I had been running around on my feet and I hadn't eaten all day, but um, just seeing other people um, putting their burdens aside and their troubles aside and just, you know, getting this event set up and having it run smoothly kind of inspired me to just kind of keep going and push myself further to see um, how much I could push myself further. And I definitely had a point where I was kind of cracked out and I kept doing really goofy dance moves and people remember me for those dance moves. Um, but I wasn't embarrassed. I actually felt really safe and um, really like it was like a safe zone for me to be as goofy as possible because people accepted me for who I was. And that probably was my, I guess, my favorite memory because I felt happy giving back but also being kind of the goofy me that I am. <laughs> my favorite food. Oh, that's hard. Um, I mean, maybe I'm biased, but I am Korean American, so my favorite food is definitely comfort food. So Korean food for me, um, definitely Mama Yu's food, uh, just because she, you know, her food makes me feel like I'm loved and that, you know, I'm always going to be fed and that I have nothing to really ask from life. Like I'm not lacking of anything. Um, she always used to make us um, omurice. I, I'm pretty sure like everyone knows what it is. So, but it would be like kimchi fried rice. And then she put like an omelet over on top. And she used to give me a ketchup bottle when I was small and I would make a smiley face on it. And whenever I was sad, then she put a heart on it for me. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's probably my favorite food in the world right now. <laughs> One utensil and what utensil would it be and why? Uh, I would be a spork. <laughs>
<laughs> so it's my compromise between a spoon and a fork. Um, just because I can't make up my mind on that. I mean, chopsticks, I could never use a chopstick properly. I actually taught myself how to pick up a pair of chopsticks because we were eating jajangmyeon as a family. And I was really frustrated as a four-year-old watching all the adults using chopsticks. And I, I couldn't. So I still, to this day, cannot use it properly. And I probably would not be that utensil. Um, but yeah, a spork because you can definitely kind of force your way into grabbing a piece of salad or leaf or whatever it is that you're eating. But then if it's something, you know, soupy, then you can still get the liquid too. So best of both worlds. (laughs) 